The key to developing the Russian Arctic and regions of the Far East is the Northern Sea Route. Our task is to make it a truly global, competitive transit artery. The largest infrastructure development projects in Russia are being carried out in Yamal Nenets Autonomous Okrug, in accordance with the goals set out by the Russian president. The Central Arctic Zone is the largest oil and gas basin in Russia and a major source of hydrocarbons for the domestic economy and international trade. In the coming decades, strategic extraction centers will shift to promising regions on the Yamal Peninsula and Arctic Ocean Shelf. Reliable transportation infrastructure is a prerequisite for effective development of these regions. Two key projects in Yamal are the Northern Latitudinal Railway and the Obskaya Sabieta Corridor, known as the Northern Latitudinal Railway 2. The NLR is the largest railroad infrastructure project in Russia's Arctic zone. Due to effective cooperation between all participants, implementation of the project began in 2018, within the framework of a federal concession. NLR2 is a logical extension of the Northern Latitudinal Railway project. It involves reconstructing the existing obskaya bovanyankova rail route and building a new section to the seaport of Sabieta. The project is nearly ready to begin and will be implemented simultaneously with the NLR. Creation of a unified Arctic transportation infrastructure will ensure a year-round connection between the national railroad system and the northern sea routes through the port of Sabieta. It will help to ensure government targets for infrastructure development of the northern sea route are met effectively and will have a significant impact on the national economy and all participants in Russian Arctic development projects. New transportation projects will contribute to the industrial development of Yamal, allowing it to create large plants for deep processing of raw hydrocarbons. The first multifunctional refining complex could emerge near the seaport of Sabieta, which provides direct access to export markets for output. Building refineries around Yamal's major deposits will allow the industry to offer a broad spectrum of sought-after products. There are plans to create a second industrial cluster in the Novi Uringoi region. Building the Arctic transportation network and developing promising deposits will require a huge volume of construction materials. To produce them, the plan is to put local resource reserves to work. Locating producers of building materials within the region and delivering their products over the new transportation network will significantly cut costs and have a positive effect on the local economy. Convenient logistics, new industrial clusters and a sustainable transport link to global markets via the Northern Sea Route. All these are new sources of growth, ensuring an effective response to the strategic challenges of developing the Russian Arctic. <laughs>